One moment, I'm getting everything straight, everyone. Well, that's the end of getting straight for them. <laughs> One second, please. You know, it's always it's always a challenge in getting things straight here. Oh, my gosh. Of course you don't want to act right today. I hope we're still live, guys. Uh, so I call myself having a good segment for you today. Something I can know with my eyes closed and I wanted to be able to give it to you really, really quickly. I have to go on a field trip, even though here in Connecticut, it is a little muggy and um, cloudy. The kids are going to the beach because <laughs> uh, we already spent our thousand dollars to send them to the beach. So they're going to the beach. Um, but without further ado, I am trying to get Facebook on, but Facebook may have to wait. Okay. Act right, Facebook. Act right today. Act right. So today's segment is on how to select your audition music. Um and talk about what happens at that time. So it's truly important that you guys know where we're going and what we're doing. Uh-oh, now you want to act race. Oh, my Lordy. Okay, so YouTube, I don't even know if you're on or not because now it's acting crazy. So hello, Instagram and Facebook. And YouTube wants to act up all of a sudden. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, you guys give me just a second. Let me see what I can do with this. Because it, it want to act crazy. Of course it want to act crazy. Give me one second. Let me see if I can try something. One more thing. Y'all don't know what you go through trying to get this stuff done. Not One second. No. If I don't hurry up and get through with it today, you guys will not have me today because Instagram is now going crazy. This is a crazy day, but you know what? Whatever works. We gonna what we're gonna do is we'll record it. We're not gonna stress ourselves out with it, not today, because I'm not sure what's going on here. And um we'll get it done and we'll make it work. So if you don't mind, give me just a moment. I'm gonna end Instagram. They're gonna have to catch it on another 
side. I will record it and bring it back later. So we're not going to even fight with it. Not at all. Okay. Now let's fight with YouTube, of which is the largest audience. But those of you that are um, here, I want to first thank you for being here because you didn't have to be here at all. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you uh, for that. And I'm going to try my best to roll through this as quick as possible to be able to give you what is needed. And you always know it is hot, 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 hot. So hopefully we can um, start and stop this and get this going where it needs to be. And then we'll let the ladies do their edits and we'll go from there. But I am going to record this myself, okay? So I am going to get started because we're not going to fight with those who are not here. We'll have to catch them on the rebound and be able to do this and everybody be happy about it because I'm just not, I can't do that today. Today is one of those, oh my God, days. this ain't the day to do that. That's This is how I feel. This is not the day. <laughs> For those of you that don't know me, I am Babs Alexander, your international and motivational speaker coach. Um, I am here to help you, to empower your voice, to take you to heights where you have, have never gone or where you want to go, or you're heading that direction and you haven't necessarily attained where you want to be and you are there and you want to go even higher. I am going to be your elevation, your motivation, and your push to get you where you need to go. I'm going to give you the information and the relevance so you can be able to capture the dream that you've been wanting to do for so long. Now you are there. Let's do it. And don't get scared. Stay in the race and let's make it happen. OK, these things that I'm going to give you are real life experiences, stories and information um, that will give you points that you can be able to use so you can get where you want to go. And you're happy about doing it because you feel comfortable because you know that, hey, this is my big chance that I've been doing that I've been wanting to do for so, so long and I cannot be without it. I want you to share this video because somebody is going to need this video. There is somebody, whether it's a child or an adult or somebody that's in one other career and been wanting to do this stuff for so long. However, they are just like scared. They're nervous. They're not sure about it. They say, oh, I'm not going to make any money. And they're just all over the place. And they just really just want to perform. You ever had that passion where you want to perform? You're sitting in the audience, and I'm telling you, I'll never forget. I was in high school. I was a senior getting ready to graduate from high school. It was Christmas time. My teacher called me up. It was Miss Key. Miss Key was my um, chorus teacher. And I always told her, Miss Key, I want to perform on Broadway. I want to perform on Broadway. And while I was telling her these things, she would always say to me, all right, child. All right, child. So, uh, the, you know, truth be told, Miss Key was like, okay, you driving me crazy. We're going to do this. But she gave me the biggest blessing that I will never, ever forget. And, and, and pardon me, guys, because while I'm doing this, I'm trying my best to help these uh, 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 Instagram folk. But uh, I turned around and I said, Miss um, Key, I don't know how I'm going to make it. And, and my, my teacher simply said, you're going to use your gifts and talents. You're going to use the gifts and talents God gave you to be able to do this. And I said, yeah, I, I am. I am. So she called me back and she said, I want you to come see me after school today. So when I got to her after school, um, she gave me an envelope and the envelope had a ticket to go see a Broadway show in Indiana. They were on tour. And the name of that show was Mama, I Want to Sing. Oh, my God. I will never, ever forget this for as long as I live. It was one of those things that 
I've always wanted to do. And I just could not. I, I, I just, I, I, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. I was my first time. It was my first ticket. I mean, you know, I've been wanting to do this thing for so long for so many years. And I was like, oh my God, it's, it's finally here. I'm finally going to get an opportunity to do something that I really, really wanted to, to, I, I get a chance to see someone to be able to do it. Now, listen, I don't know if you all have ever seen the play mama I want to sing, but you need to go see it. That play was depicting my life over and over again. Have you ever sat at a play and you cried throughout the whole play, not for the play itself, but because you wanted to be the person that was on the stage? If so, then this message is for you. And I got to go fast because everybody's calling me saying, hey, you late, where you at? Number one, I want you to know your strengths. I want you to know your strengths when you when it comes to you being able to perform. It is vitally important. Know what you can do and what you can't do. I want you to make sure that you are highlighting your range, your style, your technique, those things that help to make you the quality artist of that you are, make sure you that this song or whatever it is that you're doing is going to surround that. The whole purpose of auditions, especially when you're doing musicals or any, any show, they may have had the show a thousand years. The reason they continue to have auditions, they want to see the show evolve. They want to see the qualities. They want to see the change in character. They want to do that. And because they want to do that, This is why they want to make sure that you're there, because if you are there and you're bringing it, I mean, you're bringing it the way you need to bring it, then they'll be like, hey, wait a minute. I can see I can see this character having this trait. I I see this. So make sure you know that. Know your strengths. Use your strengths when it's time. Number two, match your genre or your role. If you're going out, me, me was I was hairspray. I knew that my role was between a 30 to 40 year old person and black and a heavy set person. Now, I know good and well, I couldn't go out for the leading role. It was looking for a little white girl, a little heavy set, yes, and a bit of bouffant hair. Yeah, I could put a wig on, but come on now. Come on. I don't look nothing like Tracy. <laughs> okay. So, Make sure you match the role. So I can't go out and sing Good Morning Baltimore. Yes, I know it, but I can't go out and sing it. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. So I'm not going to do that. All right. The next thing. So make sure you find some roles. Because if it was me and I was really serious about it, then I should be able to tell you five places right now of roles that I should match. Yes, I can go out and do Chicago. Yes, I can do The Color Purple, Sophia. Yes. I could do, uh, I told you hair fade, uh, hairspray, I already told you about that. Make sure you know your roles, all right? Get it. Next one. Avoid overdone song. By the time you get up there talking about let it go, let it go. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear let it go again. You know how many times some kids and sung let it go. Liz, by the time you get in there, you have stressed out the, the, the director because he's now looking at his cell phone because he done heard this song a thousand times. So check out Overdone Song. Go just Google it. Overdone Songs for Auditions. Make sure you don't sing those. That's a no, 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 no. Y'all got it? No. Nobody got time for that. Please find songs. Find other songs, but make songs that these, make sure these are songs that you can knock out of the park because you need that. It's so important. Number four, cut your songs appropriately. Oh my God. Listen, you're walking into an audition room to a man or a woman that's at the piano. You have never seen them before a day in your life. They don't know what you're about to give them. They just good at sight reading. Sight reading means that I have to read your music or whatever it is. Oh, that reminds me. I know I'm all out of order. Make sure that it's not the easy piano version, but give them a real piano version because they they do, they, they play. Don't insult the people, okay? Don't insult them. Make sure that it's real piano version and you give them with, with the music so they'll see where your cuts are. 
So now, if you are doing measures two through six and you're going to cut to measure 32 uh, through uh, 48, okay, first of all, you're either doing eight, 16, or 32 bars. Eight, 16, or 32 bars. If they tell you to go on, then you can go on and sing the rest of the song, okay? And make sure you know the rest of the song. Don't just learn eight, 16, and 32 bars. Oh my God, don't do that. Don't you do that. You embarrass yourself. Make sure you know your song. Don't go in there and just learn the song last night and knowing you're going to be nervous and you're going to forget the song. Know that song inside out. Get to practice and get it in your ear. First of all, you have a passion for something. You should be studying your music anyway. You should be studying. You don't go out talking about you're going to do something and you're not even studying your passion. Guys, get your life together. If you're really serious about your goals and your opportunities, every day, every morning, every evening, every afternoon, there should be something in your ear. How are you building yourself up? How are you motivating yourself? How are you getting yourself to the goal? Don't tell me about a goal that you can't do. Don't even say anything about I don't have the money. The, it don't cost money to study and to learn and to educate and empower yourself. It's free. It's all over the internet. And if you don't have it, go to the library. It is free. It is free. Learn your music. I don't have money to buy the music. That's all right. Go to Lincoln Center if you're New York City. Uh, 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 City. Not only that, it's all over the internet now. There's no excuse for you not to get any music and sit and learn the music. Look at the music. Learn the bars. Find out where your highs are. Okay? Find it. All right? That's enough of that. Cut your music appropriately. Cut it up. Put it in the thing. So when you get it, I'll give it to them. You don't have to say anything. All you have to do is say, here. I already laid everything out for you. They'll be very happy that you did. All right. The cuts are all there and it's right there. Yes, the book is there just in case they want more stuff. Okay. Number five, show emotional range. When you show emotional range and they be able to see, because they want to know. I can do every day we go to quiet, we vocalize with great desire. Listen, that's nothing and you're wasting my time. I want to know what you can do. I want to know where you can go as high as you can go. I want to hear this exciting belt that you have. Or if you're an opera singer, I want to be able to hear where you're going with that. I want to hear what's your quality of range. I want to even hear the whistles. If you can be able to do that, baby, this is your opportunity and your time to shine. I want you to get out there and showcase it. Show emotions in your range. Show them what you can do. Show them that you have versatility, okay? Stay true to yourself, though. That's number six. Stay true to yourself, all right? I know I have a demanding demeanor. I know I have a mama demeanor. I know I have a teacher and a, a, a very funny, what you doing, child? But you all know that about me, if you have been watching this channel. And if you haven't, please make sure you click like and subscribe and share and hit my notification bell because I try my best to give you the content. All right. All right. Here's the next one. The next one is uh, be prepared for your callbacks. What's a callback? A callback is where you sung the song, you walked out of the room, and then all of a sudden, they said, can you sit and wait in the lobby, please? And then they could say, oh, excuse me, Babs Alexander, they would like to see you again. And then when you come in, they're like, hi, can you sing us another song? This time, I want you to sing this song, maybe a little bit whiny, or can you sing this song um, a little less sentimental, or maybe sing the song angry? They want you to take that song and just chop it up to mince meat or give them a different song. But again, it's still staying true to yourself and character so people can see all that you can do. They want that from you, okay? The next thing, be have your, I already told you about this one. With the, I, I put eight was a professional a compliment, but I told you that when you give the man your music and your cuts. So you already know it. Number nine, what do I say to y'all a lot? Practice. Practice, 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 practice. You cannot get enough practice. Go talk to Michael Jordan. You cannot get enough uh, practice. They had the nerves to cut him, say he wasn't even good enough. Practice. That man can shoot in his sleep. Practice. What's the other guy's name? Steph Curry? Oh, man. 
Oh, I'm doing pretty good. See that, Gershwin? Practice, 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 practice. Make sure you practice. It's important, all right? And the last one, come in there like you really want the song. I mean, I really want the part. Dress your part. Consider the role that you're in, all right? Protecting, uh, um, know a little bit about the audition, understand what you're doing, dress appropriately, all right? We're not telling you to uh, just come in there with the big bouffant hair doing all this other stuff. You know, you do know it's an audition, but dress appropriately and make sure that, that it complements your song choice. Can I say it that way? This way, they know who you're coming in. They know who you're portraying and they know that you're ready for that role. All right. I hope that this has helped you because I'm about to get in big trouble because I have got to go. I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you next week. Make sure you comment. I want to know. Here, here, here it is. You listening? I want to know what person do you think that you could depict at least put one of them down below based on your voice, okay? And what song choices would you choose? I'm going to help you all out. I'm going to help you out, all right? If I don't get back to you fast enough, listen to me now, because you know I own three companies. If I don't get back to you fast enough, you send my company an email so I can make sure I make it on time to talk to you about your song choice for you walk yourself into them audition rooms. Now, I already gave you something. If you need to be in a master class, then you need to be contacting us for that anyway. Okay, I heard that my website was down at one point. We got the website back up and going for you. So thank you so much for those people who are letting me know about the website. We need to make sure you have that. Guys, listen, I'm going to be bringing some people onto the show that I know that you need people uh, um, such as um, uh, voice doctors and therapists. They will be here talking to you about the quality of your voice and things you should and you should not do. It's essential. So make sure you continue to listen to Chats with Babs. This has been Babs Alexander, your international vocal coach, bringing you quality education about the vocal performance of your voice so you can reach your maximum potential in singing and speaking on stage. See you guys next week. Bye. Now, listen, I always wind up doing some of you guys at the last, last minute. And um. Everybody knows that I cut off uh, YouTube last. I do it all the time. I do it all the time because I think that um, coming on here, it's essential for you all to understand how important it is for you to get where you need to go. And I really, really want to help you, but I cannot help you if you don't help yourself. So without further ado, practice. If I don't say anything else to you guys, practice. Leave me the comments below. Let me know how you need me to help you. Join those master classes. Listen, we're going to be having a master class live in New York City soon. We had a, live, a, a master class here in Connecticut, and we're going to be going over to Dubai, and we'll be having a master class there. I need you guys to get yourselves together. Be prepared for these tours as I'm traveling and going on these tours. If you are ready, then you need to say, hey, Babs. I'm going to be in the class. Want more information about it? Contact my team at info at arts and CT. I'm sorry, wrong company. No, you see, that's how I know I've worked too hard. Info at internationalvocalcoach.com. That's info at internationalvocalcoach.com. I'll see you guys soon. You take care.